Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Alpha Central. I'm your host, Jack, and today we found the best moments when women get rejected on the internet. Number 34. Now, let's jump right in. Right after you subscribe, of course. Disclaimer, this video was made for strictly comedic slash artistic purposes. No offense is intended towards any individual featured in this video. Are you more interesting than you look? <laughs> it's all in the mind. I have the beholder, man. What do you do? I'm a uh, business development manager for a large bank in the Northeast. Okay. Tell me if there's anything interesting about your job. Absolutely not. No. It, it's interesting to me, but I'm sure that it would probably go right over your head. You're always very quick, are you, Howard? <laughs> in some things, yes. In other things, I like to uh, take my time, if you know what I mean. I've absolutely no idea what you mean. What do you mean? <laughs> Somehow, I don't doubt that. <laughs> she tried to roast him for nothing, but bro clapped back. How is she gonna get mad after she started it, though? Do you mind writing something on this card? What the hell you got now? Roses are red. I'm blocking your calls. It can't be my kid. I think it's Jamal's. <laughs> How long you been knowing this girl? Three days. You know, somebody in three days. It took me about five oh. seconds. Dang, he had a super harsh message for that poor girl. Would you guys date a girl with an OnlyFans? No. 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 Really? Here's the thing about OnlyFans. People don't want to talk about it, but it's like the second you have that link in your bio as a girl, yeah. life changes for you. If you don't become like a Kazumi or like one of these like millionaires off yeah. OnlyFans, yeah. getting a regular job, doing anything else, you're going to carry that's, that stigma with you yeah, for life. That's so true. If you're not like the 0.001%. For real. It's crazy how different men and women feel about having an OnlyFans account. The boys are strong. If your husband was wrongfully convicted, how long would you wait for him? Six months, max. And we've been together 15 years. How long would you wait for her? Forever. Five, Don't lie. Five. Five what? Months. Good, dude. You should get back on Hinge immediately. <laughs> Okay, hold up. She will only wait six months, but expects him to wait forever? Come on, what's with this? Amy and Ray Rock are gonna see each other. Three, two, one. Nice oh, wow. You. Hello. How you doing? Hi. Wow, how's it <laughs> wow. You're kind of get blushing a little over Ray Rock there. <laughs> We're wearing pink, yeah. Hey, Amy, do you, and do you want to go out with Ray Rock? I mean, I'm definitely worth a try. Drink or I don't like that answer at all. <laughs> I like a, I like it. You say that you want someone to go after you and like invest. Yeah. I, was, I mean, I'm willing to. I'm open to see more about you. Yeah, if you would like to know for sure. Oh, I'm How the same way. Try? I'm gonna be honest. I didn't like that answer. Just, hey, nice. Wow. Uh, and, and Humble her all the way, Ray. He spoke his mind, and I'm here for it. Um. I don't know. I'm I'm newly single too, so like, like long term, I'm out you. Oh. Um, you you look. Oh. I like your swag and stuff. What's your name? Gio Gio. Gio. Oh, my name is Golden. That's two G's. I like that. Okay, she's sussy good. What you feel? What you feel? You perfect match. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm oh, sorry. No. Oh. Dad, you make me look like that. I'm sorry. You. Oh. So what? What was it? Hey, what? What was it? Um, no. I, she looked good. I ain't gonna lie. I like your eyes too. She like that, but. I don't know, I'm a pal. Yeah. Her requests were just too much, but hey, the men were nice about it all. Pardon me? You didn't think we gave pretty girls tickets? You're absolutely right, we don't. Sign here. Oh! That was the cringiest way of trying to get out of a ticket. Nah, I don't like your edges pass. No, wait, wait. Oh, I missed you? I missed you, I'm sorry. Mm. Are those real? Yes. You sure? Yes. Yes, they're very Smash. Good. I actually changed my mind. Pass. I don't like your attitude. Oh, oh, pass. God damn it. Pass. Wait, can I change my mind about her? Yeah. I'm kidding. Pass. Oh! 
Is your fit as fake as your body? What? Pass. What? Pass. Pass. What? Pass. Bro is keeping it 100 while rejecting these girls left and right. I don't know why you I'm keep saying, calling me, bro. Hey, you're scary. You don't want to fight. Period. Hey, don't no period. You don't want to fight. Period. Dude's ex is absolutely crazy for this one. She really can't just leave him alone, can she? Man in America will 100% look after you. So the guys here won't do that. Please shut. Where? Oh, there'll be guys in the UK that will look after. No, I doubt it. Oh no, wait. Right, would you would you look after her? Would you look after her? I'm not her father. Oh, see, okay, yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, nice. Americans, if I say I want a certain pattern, I don't have to ask too hard. We're versatile. So, you know, with South girls, you're going to get the guy and you're going to get the girl. So, you know, you can confide in them when you can't talk to your man them. I mean, she has a point, but a random stranger isn't going to go head over heels for another stranger. That's the answer. Next. <laughs> First and foremost, I don't need the attitude. All right, sorry. Don't that. forget where you're at. You're on our podcast as a guest, so show some respect to the platform. Second, sorry, sir. You guys got to stop treating this like a joke. We're trying to have a legit, com productive conversation here. If you guys are going to lower the quality of the show and act like idiots, then that's fine, but do that on your own time. Don't do it on my platform. You understand? Yes, sir. Okay, I understand that there's a time and place for jokes and then some satire here and there, but you guys are literally <clears throat> just hurting the quality of the show at this point with your little snickers behind the scenes, etc. The audience can hear it. Because every time you guys laugh or whatever, the mics are sensitive, they pick it up. So her's the quiet of the show from a listener standpoint. All right, you're on a podcast. You're not having a casual conversation with your girlfriends at a pub somewhere. All right. Dang, he just told them off on live. She shouldn't have been giving that attitude on his podcast, though. How come you never lose your cool? You're always so calm and collected. Because I don't get involved in stupid conversations. As soon as I feel like a conversation is getting stupid, I just cut it right there and I say, you're right. But that method doesn't work. It's completely wrong. Mm -hmm. You're right. You're right. Of course I'm right. Oh, you're always, I'm right. always right. And guys, this is the perfect way to handle a situation like this. Just let it ride and keep your cool. When the boys are zoned in on video games, it's not time to interrupt, come on. I waited 24 hours for a guy's reply, <laughs> and you know what that means. I did my hair and I put on a cute dress, and now I'm going on a date with another guy because you snooze, you lose is the motto of 2023. Bye. Sounds like the first guy dodged an absolute missile. Couldn't even wait a second for him. Go ahead, tell him what you want to tell him. Nothing. Oh, all of a sudden you're shy? That's not crazy. Shy. Okay, that's what you know with your face is there. Big words from a small girl. What? Small? Yeah. What? Uh, what the f did I say that? Did I say I don't, that? I'm not an air act fan anymore. <laughs> oh, no, no. So sorry. You just lost so one sorry. Cup. I didn't mean that. She was scared to call him small to his face. Emily. Yes. How would you feel? Mm hmm. Let's personalize this 16 years from now oh god you're 40 mm -hmm. single no man no kids will you have your together uh-huh you know money social yeah. podcast all that how would you feel about that i think i would be proud of myself first and foremost that i did i am i do have my together regardless of whether or not i have a relationship or children i okay. think part of me would be very upset that i don't have those things but i would make the best of it Gotcha. Wait, well, how delusional I... is Emily? Oh, she's super delusional. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just think, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what I mean, makes her delusional? Because um, she's a sweet girl. But what she's makes very her... sweet. But it's it's. Oh, you don't know me. It's, well, it's it's unfortunate <laughs> no, because out. I mean, you have a, you have a lot of things going for you, but because you're on OnlyFans, mm -hmm. like you're gonna be ruled out for most of the guys you want. Having an OnlyFans might be good at first, but when you're older, it becomes a problem. Guys, are you also left on delivered right now? Stay, watch this video. Now guys, I have also been left on delivered for mm, maybe 14 hours. I know that because I just checked. But I also know I will be receiving a snap back soon. Have I watched his snap score go up multiple times throughout the day? Yes, I have. 
have I also watched him be active on Snap for probably 30 minutes by now. I have. What could he possibly be doing for 30 minutes? I don't know. But I'm going to tell you right now, it's a third sense. It's coming to me. I already know what I'm going to get back from this boy. When he finally decides to open my Snap, I am going to see some b like this. And I promise this from the bottom of my heart. If I'm wrong, I'll give you my kidney. I was not wrong. Sometimes it's best to just let it be and move on. You gotta stop grasping for straws. Honest, bro, you look like a man. I ain't gonna lie. I can't lie. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, to be honest, uh, you cool, I guess. I don't like your hair, though. So yeah, you my dog. I ain't, you know, what I'm saying? you fire, you fire, you fire, you fire. I ain't gonna do, I ain't gonna do too much. You know what I'm saying? For the boots, you dripped out. You look the best out of the line, dripping. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I outfit. To be honest, you like a baby kid. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, but you can though. You can though. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you don't know what that is? A baby kid? Nah, I bet. So, you just look like you from goddamn New Jersey, New York. But to be honest, you cool. You cool. Got, um. Uh... What's funny? Because you just looking at me. I'm trying to see, to be honest, what? Because I can't see nothing really. Like. He was just brutally honest with the girls, but seems like some of them couldn't handle it. Make this make sense for me, right? Why when a person running out to you, they running out to you, they calling you, they texting you, they emailing you, they sending you SOS messages, they pulling up and they knocking on doors, they going outside their way because they trying to make the relationship work with you. They exhausting every possibility to make this thing work and you don't want it, you don't want it, you don't want it, you don't want it, you good, you good, you good. But the moment that that person stop, the moment that that person say, you know what, since you're good, be good. Since you got it, then have it. The moment that that person get tunnel vision and actually start working on themselves and start healing from you and really start growing and elevating in their own life the moment that you see them shining the moment that you start to see things coming together for them why do you bring your funky behind back over there trying to interrupt their peace understand miss ma'am sir what they wanted they don't want no more ain't no yeah yeah y'all bother me with that when somebody wants you you don't want them it's all a mind game with these girls and we must all recognize the signs why do the people that were the problem in the relationship talk the most after a breakup? Listen, some of my exes did that. If people are talking, if the person that was the problem in the relationship starts talking about you after the relationship, right. usually that's because it's the only way they can cope with you not being in their life anymore. If they have to walk around telling everyone and going on social media talking all this you like, oh, you were toxic, you were a monster, or if guys, you know, they'd be like, my girlfriend was a bitch, was a cheating or some shit. It's because it makes them feel better. If they can convince themselves that you are such a bad person, they won't, it will hurt less that you're not in their life anymore, you know? It'll feel like it wasn't really a loss. It's a form of self-manipulation. But no, if you know you didn't do shit, don't sit there and let them talk shit. They're just trying to cope because they can't move on and they're trying their best to. Damn, thank you for that. This is absolutely correct. If she's talking down on you, she's the problem, not you.
Don't get me wrong, but half the time it looks like they're looking at the cameraman. She clearly loves herself uh, maybe a bit too much. Hey, I don't think she looks bad, but she's not my type. And if my girl was doing this, she'd be out of the house in a heartbeat. You guys have made it to the end. Like and subscribe to prove you're an alpha. And remember, according to YouTube, the best way to help the channel in the algorithm is to watch another one of my videos right after this video. So if you like this video, you should watch another one. Till next time.